In this video of the USMLE High Yield series, let us learn about the functional organization of eukaryotic gene. So we all know that gene is nothing but a part of the DNA. So suppose this is a DNA fragment and in this DNA fragment, a small part is known as a gene. For example, this part for us can be a gene. Now we have demonstrated this part of the gene over here like this. So it starts from the five prime end and goes up to the three prime end. So in the five prime end, we have a silencer or enhancer. So what does this silencer or enhancer does? It regulates the gene expression. Silencer decreases the expression, enhancer increases the expression. So basically silencer does is decrease gene expression An enhancer increases gene expression, right? After silencer or enhancer, we have a promoter sequence. Now this promoter sequence promotes the transcription. So over here, it promotes the transcription. And this is the sequence where our RNA polymerase RNA polymerase 2 and other transcription factors bind. Right. So this is the work of promoter. Okay. Promoter does also another work that is in when it comes to DNA replication promoter acts as the origin of replication or ORI. How? Because it contains certain Tata sequences, which is known as the Tata box or CAAT box. So these structures are rich in AT and hence have low melting temperature. And hence they act as the origin of replication then comes the five prime untranslated region then exons and introns exons are the expressed part of the gene introns are the non-expressed part of the gene then we have the three prime untranslated region okay so UTR I should write down is untranslated right it is translation not transcription so untranslated region and finally, after three prime untranslated region, there is a silencer, which again decreases the gene expression, right? So this is at the level of DNA that we have seen. Now what happens from DNA, we get the RNA by means of transcription. Right? Now transcription starts just after or downstream to promoter. So here transcription starts. After transcription, what happens? We don't get the silencer enhancers or promoters. We just get the untranslated regions and the exons and introns. This is known as the pre mRNA. This is known as the pre mRNA right sometimes this is also called a heteronuclear RNA now this pre mRNA undergoes another process which is known as the splicing in splicing what happens the introns are removed out see the introns have been removed out and what remains is the untranslated regions on both ends and the exons together. Along with splicing, what happens is that there is also something known as capping and tailing that occurs. That is, we get a five prime capping with a seven methylated guanine and we get a polyadenylated tail at the end of the RNA. Now this capped 
spliced and tailed RNA is known as a mature RNA. Right. Now this mature RNA ultimately undergoes a procedure known as translation and forms finally what we know as the polypeptide. So this more or less summarizes our understanding of a eukaryotic genetic organization. I hope you have understood this video well. If you have understood this video, please hit the like button, share this video among your friends and for more such amazing content, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to support me for making high quality educational content for free, please contribute to the channel using the super thanks button present on the bottom right corner of this video. Until then, bye bye. See you in the next one.